In the time right before silent films switched over to talkies, there was a Hollywood couple everyone was talking about. John Gilbert and Greta Garbo were two of the biggest stars of the era, and they became involved in a romantic relationship almost immediately after first working together. Though they parted ways romantically, the relationship had lasting effects for John Gilbert. Join Facts First as we explore the devastating affair that ended John Gilbert's career. John and Greta were the hottest couple of the silent era. For a time during the 20s, the two biggest movie stars on the planet were John Gilbert and Greta Garbo. Their public relationship boosted their celebrity profile significantly, which was something not lost on the studio that made the pair famous. John and Greta worked for MGM, and the couple's relationship occupied so many headlines during the time that some began to wonder if the relationship was just a ploy on the studio's part to stir up publicity. If that was the case, it would explain a lot about how the relationship fizzled out. But what happened between John and MGM studio head Louis B. Mayer on the day that was supposed to be John and Greta's wedding suggests that Louis not only didn't have a hand in the relationship, but that he also advised his star against it. John Gilbert and Greta Garbo first met in the mid-1920s during the filming of Flesh and the Devil. As the story goes, the two became instantly enamored of each other over the course of production, and John proposed to the actress as soon as filming wrapped. Greta accepted, and the two went about planning an elaborate double wedding that would see them married alongside another Hollywood couple. When the day of the wedding came, Greta was nowhere to be found. Devastated, John Gilbert was said to have run to the bathroom in tears. He was followed in there by Louis B. Mayer, who gave the actor what he likely thought were words of encouragement. John punched his boss in the face. According to legend, when Louis B. Mayer followed John Gilbert into the bathroom, the studio head told the actor that marrying the actress was a bad idea. Apparently, Louis told John that Greta was the kind of person you slept with, but not the kind you made a commitment to. Though these words are certainly harsh, they take on a deeper meaning when you consider that Greta didn't tie the knot once over the course of her life. Regardless of the intent, the outcome likely wasn't what Mayer had planned. The story goes that John Gilbert snapped upon hearing how Louis truly felt about Greta, and he attacked the studio head, punching him in the face. Louis became instantly enraged himself, allegedly proclaiming right there he'd put an end to John Gilbert's career immediately. Given that John's career fizzled out significantly in the following period, there is some merit to the idea that Mayer put the beloved actor's career to an end. But there's also the fact of the matter that the type of movies John appeared in were losing popularity anyway. John was a silent film actor and didn't make the transition to talkies very well. History remains divided on how big a part Louis B. Mayer played in the career downfall of John Gilbert. But there are plenty of stories of Louis sabotaging opportunities for John to have more of a career than he did. One such incident involved another famed legend, Howard Hawks. Before we tell you about that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Louis prevented John from working with Howard Hawks. Even after John and Louis' alleged fallout, John remained on contract with MGM. Some suggest that Louis used his power over John to prevent the actor from getting good roles, instead relegating him to supporting parts in minor works. When the opportunity arose for John to play a role in a Howard Hawks film that was cherry-picked for the actor himself, Louis B. Mayer knew he couldn't let him have it. Hawks went on to make the World War I feature The Dawn Patrol without Gilbert, and the film was a success. If Mayer had agreed to loan John out to Howard for the picture, it could have done wonders for the actor's fledgling career. Since John was under contract with Louis, the actor was essentially his to do whatever he wanted with. But since the studio head wasn't finding any great use for the actor at MGM, it stands to reason he could have loaned the star out to Howard Hawks for the right price. This is further evidence that there was a real grudge that existed between John and Louis. While John had been known as a beacon of success during his peak, he became known as one of the most miserable men in Hollywood towards the end of his life. Sadly, the end of his life came all too soon, putting a tragic end to a story that was already heartbreaking. Things never did turn out between John Gilbert and Greta Garbo, though the actor retained a flame in his heart for the actress until his dying day. For her part, Greta didn't have any hard feelings towards John. She was always emotionally flighty, and the actor easily forgave her for the transgression of standing him up at the altar. Some say Greta claimed before her death that John was the love of her life. 
though she was too frightened to commit to him because she was too attached to her independence. However, others suggest that she never married because she was a lesbian. Those who believe Greta was a closet lesbian also typically believe the aforementioned angle of Louis B. Mayer coming up with her and John Gilbert's relationship as a publicity stunt. They remained friends until John's death. John and Greta remained friends until John's death, and Greta even tried to give her former fiancé's career a boost by letting him appear alongside her in the 1933 film Queen Christina. While John's popularity was fading into oblivion, Greta was even more famous than ever. The early 30s saw the peak period of her success, and she thought she'd share it with John. Sadly, his appearance in the film didn't do much to revitalize his stardom. The actor was drinking significantly at that point and had a hard time pulling himself together to give his performance his all. John's untimely death was made even more tragic by the fact that the actor managed to turn away from drinking shortly beforehand. Alcoholism had certainly been the major factor in John's downfall. He was only 38 years old when he passed away from a heart attack in 1936. Though John and Greta were on good terms in the time leading up to his death, the actress wasn't able to attend the funeral due to the fact that she was in Sweden. Greta went on to live for many more decades before passing away in 1990, though she never forgot about her relationship with John. Though John isn't talked about all that much nowadays, he was one of the biggest stars of the 1920s. In 1925, he appeared in two major hits for MGM, The Merry Widow and The Big Parade. Around the same time, Louis B. Mayer traveled to Europe to scout actresses. This is how Louis ended up stumbling upon Greta Garbo, who had been working in the European film industry. It's hard to say how John Gilbert's career would have turned out if Louis B. Mayer had loaned him out to Howard Hawks, though it's undeniable the studio head wasn't the only factor in the actor losing his popularity with audiences. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99.